Ow. Oh, oh, my oh. oh my god! Oh, you Alan! Oh. You're ruining yeah, the show! It's a two stroke <laughs> penalty! <laughs> <laughs> episode of the RV Roundup, and this is the first time that we've had RV guests, <laughs> the Godfreys, <laughs> Alan and Sheila. Love it, love it. So so I'm going to do a quick little, last year, um, we're filming live basically from Pelican Lakes in Naples, Florida, and we met last year, you guys were here, yep. and you were just visiting, we were playing pickleball, and I and we were having fun, we're laughing, carrying on. And I said, "Oh, you guys just visiting?" You're like, "Yeah, we're just visiting." And I said, "Oh, you guys just on an RV trip?" And you're like, "No, we're full timers." I'm like, "What? You guys are too young to be full timers." <laughs> so, so we'll just kind of take it from there. You're from California, Southern California. Yeah. And what? I mean, how in the hell did you just decide? Oh, like, that's easy. <laughs> this, this is a fun story. So I've always been wanting to get a boat. I wanted to get a big fifty or sixty foot boat do Caribbean and, you know, Florida and just live on a boat. And that got to be a bigger production and not as many places to go. And then COVID hit and we... And I always said, no, 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 no. And she loved, boat. She, oh, yeah. I love California. It's the most beautiful state in the whole wide world. I love it. I love it. She lives 45 years in Indiana. And mm -hmm. so when she, she's the last 10 years has been in California down in Laguna Beach. She's like, oh my gosh, I'm never, never here. I'm not place in this spot. And then COVID hit and California got ugly, just yes. locked down and as liberal as can be. And we're, so Sheila was not loving that. So she says, you know, what's going on with that, uh, yep. RV, that well, I said, RV life? I said, know? remember when you wanted to do the RV life you were thinking about? And you said, yes. And I said, and this is on a Wednesday. I said, can you have the house on the market by Monday? So you, that quickly, Wait, you decided. You're as impulsive, impulsive as we are. <laughs> and I can roll with it and love every minute of it. So he goes, are you you're serious? I said, yep. He had the house on the market by Monday. It sold in seven days. Wow. We, during scope. COVID, your house yeah. sold yes. in Wow. We jumped in our car then and after we had that offer, went to Vegas, bought our coach, came home, sold everything that we owned but a 10 by 10 storage unit. Everybody, everybody. Hadn't even told the kids all of them yet. All the furniture. On. This is how fast this is moving. The cars. Good for you. Everything. everything. And we had never been in an RV, never been in a fifth so wheel. So you've never, we been, had, in, we never been in a never, park before We've never life. even been in an RV park. I mean, yes. I've, I've, I've been backpacking, you know, in, in the mountains. Hold I've on. never been in an RV. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're, don't give him and any so, ideas. You sit down, big boy. <laughs> and it was keep a talking. You can always keep go talking. back. Yeah, a, you can always go a back. A huge leap of faith. Yep. There you go. Within 30 days, we're on yeah. the road. Andy, there Everything you go. that we owned was... So, and you're happy, right? Oh my gosh! That my when people say, "What's your biggest surprise about being on the on the on the road full time?" and I said, "I can't believe how much I love it." Because yeah. I I was the one thought for sure, you know, within a year. We said we'll give it one year, and then we'll buy a house, and maybe things will be settled down by then. It's like, no. well, you guys have like six kids, right? Yes. yes. I mean, between the two of you, mm -hmm. six children. Mm -hmm. They're all adults, obviously. Right. 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 So when the you, Brady bunch. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. like the modern day Brady bunch. The are being Brady three bunch. sons and three daughters, mm -hmm. almost Sweet. the same age, all in yeah. their twenties. One barely at thirty. Mm -hmm. But with us, it's really funny. We are. We'll go to different parts, or we'll go to a different city, and we'll just we'll park it. We open up, and we just go. Oh my we're gosh, up. now we're in the mountains of Montana, overlooking the mountains. We sit there. We've got our TV. We've got our kitchen. We got our bedroom. We got our Lock family clothes. room. We're like. This is the greatest thing we've ever done. Right. It's so fun everywhere yeah. we go. But we're goers also, and we love people, yes. and that's what makes us so. So it's so crazy because I was when I was working, I always said, when I get done working, I want to go for at least three or four months. Yeah. Blah blah blah. A couple of buddy, oh my buddy Royal was going to go with me, but he, that didn't happen. And I got Angie to go for we went for like six weeks one time. Three years ago, three summers ago, four four years ago, whatever it was, mm -hmm. and. We had a good time, but we both got like, eh, we're ready to go back to Mountain Falls because Mountain Falls is special. I yeah, love it. yeah you can't you can't argue that. No. That's, that's the and so we got homesick for Mountain Falls. Got homesick for my golfing buddies and, yeah. and, and our friends at Mountain Falls. Right. So we went back, and then we realized that we love all those people. We love spending the time with them, and we and, and, it's, and it's, it's cool. Then we finally got to do the ultimate trip this summer, 
all the way around the United States. Oh. Almost three months. Awesome. And it's, They're laughing. Three months, rookie. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no, what you said a little bit ago, when I look back at what I like the most about it, everything. I never got tired of it. I could have just kept going. Ella and I, the old girl and I, we could have just kept going. Yeah. And we, 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 I would have just like, fill a tank up. Let's go get, I mean, we went all the way around the bottom, all the way around the top. That's Let's awesome. go down the middle now. Yep. Yeah. But, but. And then we'll crisscross. But we here's works. the thing though, for you guys though, your decision was a little harder because you still work full time. Yes. Right. So you were just explaining that you're in an industry, but you can work from your computer and your phone. We all learned that from COVID obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So when you told, do you own your own company or do you work for a company? Did you, when you told them what you were doing, were they like, what? So yeah, I'm, I'm a mortgage lender. And so, uh, You've been working from home? same little boutique company. I don't own the company, I but I have my own clientele yeah. base. And so I can work as much or as little as I want. No, I have no boss. It's just, you know, whatever you produce, whatever you do, you get paid on. And, and you know, these last two years in mortgage have been crazy. So mm -hmm. I've actually had to put in 40 hour work weeks, you know, Monday through Friday, which has been a bummer, but I, I think, <laughs> I, I, but I have, but I have to say when I'm working, it's like every week, it's like, I'm going to work because I really was putting in, I'm, I'm, I'm scaling back now. But when I was working, I was working hard, but every weekend it was like, I'm on a vacation. I'm at home, but I'm in another city. I'm in another beautiful, historic place that everybody dreams of going to, whether it's Idaho, Montana, South Dakota, Michigan, you know, Naples. And 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 you wake up, you go, okay, well, this week uh, we're just on a new vacation. And a new but, time zone for you because yeah, you've got to face yeah, off yeah, lessons. Yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Let me ask. I want to ask. What do you do while he's working? Because you're in a small space. So, so many people ask me that, and it's surprising all the things that I'm doing. It's like, I thought a couple times, oh, I'm a little bit more, maybe I need to get a little job, a little something to do. But there's there's not enough time to actually put towards that. So I've taken up making jewelry. Oh, good for Because you. it's small, it can stay in the coach. It's not like a big project, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, so what's really been exciting is when we go to these small towns, every town has beads and jewelry oh, yeah. that is Something unique different. to the state that yeah. it's in. Oh, Cody, Wyoming has a great bead oh, store, I'll by the way. Go. So, yeah. go. Oh, you got to put that on your list. Yeah, I will. Cody's badass. So, yeah. I didn't know you were making jewelry. Mm -hmm. oh. And I'm not making it enough because I've been so busy, I haven't had time to make it. I've got this too, amazing too much, stuff, and it's like, honey, i got this time to do Too much fun socializing. You know and I mean? it's fun shopping for all the little beads and stuff and creating, you know, but sitting down and creating it now, that's when I have to get serious. But it's not going to happen here. Party City. I know, that's so, the problem, all these RV parts. So I had a friend that was in the insurance business, and we used to play golf, and we, you know, go out to dinner and have fun. He retired. After retiring, it was harder to get yeah. a hold of, to get right. harder to make a yeah. plan with right. than it was when he was working. Right. It's just, it, it, it's just time just goes crazy. Right. And it's, it brings me to another topic. When we met, what, a year ago? A little yeah. over a year yeah. ago. Yeah. You guys just started picking up pickleball. Yes. And in less than a year, you became a 4 0 player and a really good player. It's crazy to watch this. I've watched but guys do this with golf yeah. and to see people do it with pickleball. So the RV life is like, okay, what do you like? Well, I like playing pickleball. I like yeah. fine dining. I like to go. Yeah. We went to a place that you sent us to. Ocean, Ocean Prime. Prime. We, went, we did yeah. it there for the hour. Was that great? It was awesome. It was amazing. Oh, so the bubbles were very people, yeah. right? We, we had That's a couple fun. cocktails, then we had a, a bottle of wine. Because yeah. if we stay on cocktails, I start speaking Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct. -o. And we had a wonderful time. But that's just the whole thing about our being. Right. Is you meet people and you yeah. watch them awesome and what they love to do yeah and they pick up a new hobby or a, or a crazy game like pickleball i mean i'm not near as good a player as, as alan is but i'm way better than i was a year ago yep. right two years ago, because that's what we do right yeah, and i love there. it that we're there's a lot of like-minded people in this rv space mm -hmm. and so that is really cool and then the fact that we go to all these other resorts like mountain falls mm -hmm. And there's all of our same friends from yes. this place. Isn't that yeah. funny? Because we saw so you guys. I'm like, wait yes. a minute. Didn't we meet you in Naples? Yes. And you were like, yeah, yes. we decided to come up here. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. and then I didn't know you guys were coming back here down to Naples. Yeah. And then you were in Mountain Falls. And, and I go, well, you know, I'll see you when I see you. And you're like, oh, well, we 
we're buying a lot. Right next yeah, to we're, you. yeah, we're renting a lot next to you in Naples. I'm like, what? I'm so excited. So it is kind of fun. It's like your little traveling high school or something, it's right? You know, so everybody true. kind yeah, of. For sure. It's so fun. So as, how as did big you... a world as it is, the RV world, That's... you run into people. Yep. We were yep. doing racing. I'm so sorry for interrupting, but we were doing racing, doing stuff at Sebring a couple, four years ago, whatever. We get to Cody, Wyoming. I'm out hooking the bus up. I look across the way and this guy goes, Mike, is that you? I'm like, yeah. He goes, oh, I raced against you at Sebring oh in the, in the vintage cars. I'm like, what? Oh, and we got to talk funny. and it was like, okay, we're 2,000 miles from where we Right. <laughs> we're right. That's yeah. funny. Okay, so I'm I'm curious. So you decided to do full time. You you have a storage space in California. Okay. So you have a California driver's license, then, right? Or oh, you, that's a great question. Well, we beelined it directly out to South Dakota. Yes. And it took us all of two hours. Well, twenty four hours. You have to sleep overnight in South Dakota one night. You can go into the DMV the next day and become a resident. Get your really? driver's license. And so at that point. I, I love switched, South Dakota. So I switched my corporation from a California corporation to a South Dakota because I just get paid into the corporation. And uh, for California, yes. you know, 13% state sales tax, right? Mm -hmm. South Dakota, zero. Florida, zero. I mean, economically, it was great. But I didn't own anything in California. I totally exited, so it was legit. That's now we're going to probably change to Florida, to Florida because, because, you, because we're spending more time. So they actually bought a property here in Naples. Um, so you guys traveled for a good year just kind of roaming, and then you settled to buy a spot here in Naples, Florida. So speaking of that journey, the first six months was really like being on true vacation. True. I mean, you're in your new right. motor coach. You're yes. you're hitting town to town. We made this schedule where we're like four days here because we got to see this place in Montana, then another four days, and another six yep. days, another three days. Oh, I we mean, traveled hard. By six, you by had six to be months, exhausted. We were six exhausted. months were exhausted. I going, said, okay, no, we're oh not. my gosh. We got to so back her down. So so then, then, yeah. then I just started. got set up. <laughs> we got to close up my slides again. We're going. Yeah, so then we tried to settle into, you know, seven, ten days, and then we started, like, we came down here and we were supposed to be here a month we loved it so much we extended another month so we're here ended up two and a half months last year and then we're seeing other people buying lots i mean you're learning along the way we didn't right. know people bought rv lots. i know i, I know mean, until you start going to these awesome. parks you're like you mean i can own my own lot and yeah. check it out the way i want it right yeah. so the really yeah. another thing the, right now, no yeah the really cool thing is um i have a girlfriend that i've known for 30 some years in a, a business that, I, that we had done together and I have followed them on Facebook. And so because we knew absolutely nothing and we have never been in an RV park or in a, in a bus before, we reached out to them. And literally, they graciously, for the first three months of our journey, they had already made their path and they shared it with us. And they said, just nice. go here, That's make a reservation, make yeah. a reservation, make a reservation. Yeah. So the first three months, we followed them. And they were moving hard and fast because they had been doing it already on the road for almost three years. Okay, so they were we a little hard. Yeah, they're full-time. Yes. They're full-time. So that really, if, if people are, are as green as we were and they're wanting to hit the road, I definitely encourage them, if they can, find someone who they can just, like, piggyback with. Because mm -hmm. they, they saved us a lot of money. Oh, All they, the way down to the vehicle that we bought. Everything. Really? They, they so told they just us, gave you a lot of tips. What's what was the number one tip that you think saved you the most money that they that they helped you? Well, with? I could tell you. Okay. Well, I think it's the it's the type motor coach that we bought. Yes. I mean, it's because ours was the middle of the road, not the most lowest, not the highest, yeah. but it but it is probably the most efficient. And we didn't with know the most storage. Like it. I mean, it's a full timers motor coach that has lots of storage like you know all up in here and over there and then in the back bedroom has and what, and what do you guys have it's a newmark dutch star okay yes yeah, yeah they do dutch a great Stars storage great 40 yeah, 43 or almost 44 feet uh and and it's just designed for full-timers because you have tons of storage underneath and, and when there you're clothing. so new you don't know how to really live that lean so yeah. you need as much storage in the beginning yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah. learn how to lean as Lean yeah, I'm still there. working on it's figuring hard. out yeah. lean. It's hard. Because, I mean, you're you're cute. You're adorable. You always have cute outfits on. So how did you decide what you were going to keep and well, what you were going to put on there? And Every time I go to California, I take two extra double bags full of stuff that I put in storage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? <laughs> yes. And we really need to go there and declutter that thing out. She, yeah. She's making me go to the house. She wants to take everything off the coach. 
so she can decide what goes on the next coach. Right. Like, Angie, <laughs> take off what you're not going to put right. on the next right. coach, then take this stuff it's and put it on that coach. I, keep, I like to start fresh. It's not hard. You can keep your closet the way it is. My closet is going to have to be fresh. Boys have five pair of shorts, all different colors, same Help style. Her, Sheila. Help her, Sheila. Five t-shirts are golden. Yes. Yes. Doesn't work that way. No, well. I heard you saying just the other day you were complaining that you wanted some more collar t shirts. He did. And then you didn't have any room, but right. then you. Did you say I that? I just paid him five or six of them to Goodwill because he goes, I don't need all these shirts. Yeah. Now he goes, I need some more collar shirts. My guy just to buy the <laughs> shirts to Goodwill. <laughs> exactly. Well, at the end of the day, we all know, right? I, even at home, when you have a house, you gravitate towards your favorite. Right. So you probably wear the same two or three jeans and you got 10 pairs and you wear your yeah. best three that, that you like true. that fit the best, look the best. Same with shirts, t-shirts. So a know. stack of t-shirts yeah. that deep in the mountains. Exactly. And this much of them get you used yep. and they get washed and they yep. get put back. So I use the same one. They stay on top. I've never been in even in the middle of it. <laughs> exactly. That's that's the stuff down there at the bottom is all brand new. Listen, it's hard that's to get rid because in yeah. racing, we get free t-shirts all the oh, I mean, yeah. you know, all yeah. the sponsors. We're not in racing people. anymore. <laughs> we still, I don't know, accumulate t-shirts like <laughs> mad. I don't know how, but we uh, do. No, I'm not buying them. I do not buy t-shirts. That is one thing I, honest to God, do not really buy. That's hilarious. Of course, you're wearing a new one. I just bought you. I was going to say, this that's, came from Tommy Bahama yeah. two days ago. There you go. There was a coupon. I had to use it. I oh, yeah. That's great. So, okay, um, really good advice about kind of finding a friend that, because I've yes. been sharing, in fact, um, I You're do, really good at that. Well, I have a, when we went on our trip, I did a blog on SkinnerFiveMedia.com. So if you go on SkinnerFiveMedia.com, there is a blog of our West trip, the Lewis and Clark, that we did this summer. But a lot of the places that we went were from people that I met at Mountain Falls that traveled out that west. That had already done. Gotcha. Right. And, and yeah. I asked them, can you share your map with me? Yeah. Can you share your trip? You know, yeah. what program do you use? And um, actually, Alfonso Ribeiro is a good friend of Mike's. And he and his wife were going from California and doing like a little bit of He's traveling. He's a California boy. He's a California yeah. boy. And so, and his wife, Angela, sent me RV Parky. Gotcha which is a great app mm -hmm. because it'll show you the miles between each city and you can put the address mm -hmm. in. We and don't use that, do we? It's a cool app and, and you can share the map with people. Okay. So it's called RV Parky. And RV Life is cool. Well, RV uh, Life trip, we use... Trip Wizard, something like that. Yeah, there's that. Well, we use... Um, I did RV Parky. I, when I was plotting it all out, I went on MapQuest and I would go, okay, you know, when you travel from... Zion to Paso Robles. Mm. You know what's the what's mm -hmm. the best route for a bus? And then I go, oh, there's a cool place I'd like to stop. Yes. So right. I usually do that. A couple glasses of wine. You know, I make a bunch of notes, and then I start like really fine tuning right. it. I screwed up a little bit of things in our trip this year where Mike does. Mike's like, why are we backtracking? I'm like, because I'm an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> I just think like, you know, I wasn't paying we, attention. We probably put a thousand miles on the coach that we didn't need to. Gotcha. But, but you know what? We saw things things you would never seen. Correct. Tom. Tom yeah. Tom Berenger's, one of his famous sayings is the, desti the, the, the destination has got to be worth the journey. Yes. And everything we did, even though we backtracked some and took us on, but we weren't in no hurry. We right? That was yeah. the beauty of that it. Isn't that so, wonderful so, feeling? But we did backtrack. I mean, we, yeah. we you know, we zigzagged and then went back this Well, but see, Sheila out. and I are both kind of type A, so it's, I'm, yeah, I was like, when we first good. started plotting our trips, I was like, you I'm like, Two days here, three days here, four days here. Oh my God, four days, that's a long time. And when we plotted this trip this summer, I was like, you know, I felt like I didn't get to see enough of some of the places, mm -hmm. or we never just relax. Right. Because you're just like, Ugh, you're wide open, you, you know. Because you, you, you remember, you're still doing laundry, right. you're still going right. to the grocery store, you're still, you know, yes. doing all these things. So when I planned this trip, and this was, this was kind of funny, I sent it to Tom and Laura. And I did like a, I just typed it out, a Word document, and I was like giving them all these notes, like, hey, you know, we're going to have a, a night, maybe we'll just find a parking lot to stay here or whatever, but we did discover Harvest Host, which is one yeah, thing that we ended up we loving love for Harvest overnights Host. on we the way. Yeah, but um, I ended up sending them the, the Word document, and then I had like a, a MapQuest map that showed our, you know, route basically right. going all around the United States. And Tom and Laura called and like, why are we in Oregon for seven days? And I'm like, you're going to be happy yes. that we're in Oregon for seven days when we get there. It was great. Yeah, and they and they were like, 
We want to be in Sturgis for a little longer. Oh my God! One of my dogs just cut the cheese, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. We all just looked down. We all just looked down. Oh, like, like, Woo! Who cut the cheese? Welcome to Harvey, guys. Yeah. Welcome wow. to our dog life. Wow! Oh look, Clyde goes with oh, me. Oh boy! Which one are you were guilty <laughs> for that? Woo. Woo. Dogs. Woo. So but, oh wait, I'm not done. Wait. So the thing that was so funny is, and then Tom and Laura called and they said we don't have enough. We have. We're not spending enough time in Sturgis. And I'm like, really? Like. And I'm so glad they talked me into extending our stay in Sturgis mm. because I actually got to relax. Like we had down days right. where we could just sit outside the motorhome and read a book or sip a cocktail or catch up with work. Or take or, a motorcycle ride, right. an easy ride. Right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Lunch somewhere and, exactly. and, and that's the one big thing I learned this summer is like give yourself enough time on the road where you don't have to be hair on fire. Right. I understand like parents with young kids, right. you only have so much time on break. But if you're on the schedules like yeah, we are, yeah. and you can just spend more time in these parks. If smell you the can, roses and along smell, the way. Yes. Yeah, it's so important. That's we true. learned that too. Yeah. That's true. So when you're traveling now, I mean, now you've bought the place here in Naples. Yes. But then you're going to get back on the road because we all got to get the hell out of Naples in April because it gets hot, I know. right? Yep. Probably May. So how do you come guys... Come on, you got to come back to Mount Falls. We are. Yeah. yeah. we got to talk to you about that tonight. Yeah, we yeah, we got we got to pop that out. Yeah. So how do you guys now decide what you're going to do for the other six months of the year? That's a, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. And I'll kind of grab right. that one right there. Because what I do is I print out monthly maps, you know, right off your computer on 8 now. Get pencil out there, and I start with what we know, right? You fill in, okay, we, we want to, to be at certain places at a certain time, and so then I work backwards and outwards, kind of, you know okay. what I mean? So, so we know we wanted to go up to Michigan, up in uh, Michigan, northern Michigan. We want to visit awesome. Bob and Sue back again up in Minnesota. So we're going to figure out how to get up there. So now i got to fill in all this time on our way up. And like you say, it's efficiency. With these big old buses, you don't want to zigzag all over. No. You want to hit places. Especially with the price of fuel now. Yeah, I know, exactly. right? Jeez. We have just not $5 a gallon. It's like coming California. down. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, 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 we have so what I would do is just... <laughs> pick places and then I pick people's brains like that's what I got to do with you guys I got to fill a couple weeks in the set you know in June in that whole mid Tennessee Kentucky area and figure out where to go where to stay and what to do on our way up we'll go to Indiana visit her family in Indiana for a bit we'll start heading up to Michigan then to go over to Minnesota and most of these places we'll stay a week to two weeks each because mm -hmm. we just enjoy that more now mm -hmm. than trying to see everything then heading two weeks to Sturgis because we Two years, past two summers, we've been, we've been to South so Dakota fun. in the Black Hills. It's we one of our love favorite oh, I love that places. area. Two weeks is almost so not great. enough there. I, honest, I couldn't get Angie to hard to even go. <laughs> I never now wanted she to go. wants to spend two weeks. I'd spend a month there, That's and I'd be great. fine so we with gotta, can, so yes. you know, We need to get our wires yeah. together yeah, for on sure. that. That'll yeah. be fun. And that it's not be because of Sturgis itself. That's kind of fun. No, I don't even go. I like Sturgis. I agree. I like Deadwood. It's Deadwood. It's Keystone. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, the lake up at the top? Did uh, you go so to the beautiful. lake up no, there? No, oh, I didn't go to the lake. There's so many little finds we found last year. We're like, this place has everything. And in we the love to live like the locals. That is really a part of our passion. Me too. Yeah. I, I try yeah. to get on TripAdvisor or I try to Google, like, like you said, mm -hmm. a restaurant or a little dive bar right. place or a little place yeah. that the locals actually hang right. out at. Yeah. So we met a couple because we had a clear bra put on the front of our truck while we were there. And we met the owner of the, of the company who he and his family became very good friends of ours. Long story how that all happened. But so now when we go back, it's like, and they're younger than, they're almost our kids' age, right? They're kind of in between. Definitely. And we go back and we see them and they show us all kinds of the local things. And yeah. that's really fun. Yeah. So we meet people along this entire journey that are going to be friends for life. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and if yeah. you didn't have this journey, you would never have known them. There you have it. Right. That's what you do with RV Yeah, I know. That's it. so I mean, true. That's why. Full time. Oh, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Oh, you know what? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know what you need to do I'm, is a step folks, stone. Send Angie messages <laughs> of all the wonderful things you get to enjoy by being full time RV life. That's right. A stepping stone would be lease the house out for an entire year, 12 months. Oh, that's, good. that's a good Now idea. go full time for a year. You always know you got that house go back as a fallback. I gotta tell you a really funny story. Blowing up the bridge behind you like we did. So when <laughs> yeah, we, look how happy you guys are. It's so right. great. When it's I was so build great. another bridge. Yeah. Yes, exactly. right. right. A really funny story is when we went to pick our coach up, um, Alan gave them the check. 
And so we had a couple hours of just some things while they're finishing things up. And I said, hey, we probably ought to go look at an RV park. We've never been in one before. <laughs> I love this. So I'm uh, uh, kidding you. We pulled into this RV park in Vegas. And I said, oh, dear Lord, no way am I doing this. Oh, my gosh. Do you think they cashed a check yet? I said that to him. And this was because a you must. You must have went to. Well, don't say it. No, no, yeah. no. Don't, don't say it. It was park. <laughs> That had a lot but, of had dirt. Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. like dirt. The or, new RV yeah, park is, there. Is so that's what he LVM is. Amazing. That's what he did. So he yes. immediately got to his phone. He goes, "Hold on, honey," and he's he's googling luxury RV parks oh, yeah, in yeah. Vegas. He goes, "Hold on, get in the car, let's go." He took me straight over there. I looked in the window. I said, or I looked at the uh, through the the park gate. And I said, "Okay, I can do this. I can do this. You promise? This is yeah. what we're doing, yes. right?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said, "Yes." Right. That place is nice. It's really nice. Yes. Now, since then, I've I've gotten over. I've yeah. been in parks. Well, there the are some are places awesome. where you can't help but like. Right. Okay, right. so Uray, Colorado. It's not a luxury RV park, but it's one of my favorite RV parks. Sorry, I love it. the people that own it. No, it's actually in Uray. Oh, we need to Uray River, Uray RV River Resort, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, and okay. it's gravel. Right. Okay. But it's, I mean, you're nestled in these beautiful mountains. You can walk to the hot springs. We biked wow. to Box Canyon. We biked nice. to a waterfall. The people that own the park are so people, nice. And there's a little restaurant yeah. there. And awesome. and the thing that's cool is... You don't cool care is, if you're in gravel there. It's not. Well, yeah. we yeah. lucked out. Yeah, and we got a lot right on the little river. And um, so they had a walking trail. So every experience. morning, the dogs yeah. and I got out. We did the loop around We rode the our little buzz bikes up in yeah. town. And yeah. Stuff. I was just afraid of selling our big, beautiful home in California. Oh, yeah. And going to dirt. Exactly. And that they were all that way because we'd never been in them before. So no, I'm going to admit, we went through... A little spell this summer where we were in like Moab, Zion, yes. I mean, and Lots I'm like, I am so tired of, of dirt. Oh, I'm so right. tired of dirt and sand right now. I yeah. need to get out. And then we finally we got into Paso Robles, and there then you, go. you know we That's started going up to experience. Oregon and yeah. all that. Moab's okay. It was just so hot. It was really yeah. hot, That's, and it was dry. So the so, dirt so was now, amazing. You know, d d a tip for RVers is just like. Choose the time of year right. that you can get the availability yep. of the spots, yeah. but choose the time of the year for the things that you want to go mm -hmm. do. Moab, I want to go back to Moab. I do too. Right. I do and like I want to rent a side by side and go yep. doing the yeah. dirt yes. trails. But not when that. it's 100 degrees. Not no. when it's 109 right. degrees yeah. or 108 degrees. Yeah, it's we were there. Hot. The one thing that, one tip that we picked up, and this was from the owner of U Ray, um, of, of that resort. When we were there, we could only stay two nights, and I was heartbroken. Oh. I'm like, man, I just really want to stay longer yeah. here. And, and I just, I didn't know I'd like it so much. Mm -hmm. And he goes, guys, if you come back end of August, September, yeah. you could probably get a whole week and have that river lot that you love. He said, because the kids are back in school right. Right. and we're not traveling with kids. Yep. So we don't have to travel right. then. Right. Uh, it's just that we typically like to be back in Mountain Falls that time of year because yeah, the leaves perfect. start to right. change. Right. But this year I told Mike, I'm like, okay, this year let's stay in Mountain Falls through July and then around August as Sturgis starts to pick up, right. go do that and then do Fun. Colorado yes. and some of the stuff yeah. that we wanted to right. do that maybe we didn't get to do because it was so busy right. or so hot. Yeah. Have you guys been to Tiger Run yet? Yes. Yes. I like that. Um, yeah. I, no, That's Tiger, in Breckenridge, by the way. Yeah, Breckenridge. Yes. My, and we had a cool plan like there. Yeah, we left Frisco, Frisco a little yeah. time. Frisco, I love it. so yeah. sweet. We had a good time at Tiger Run. I have a funny story. I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> at oh, Breckenridge, that you guys will get a big kick out of. I love it. But um, but one of the cool things that we did do at Breckenridge, we we left our bus there, and then we took the car and went to Aspen. Oh, nice. Because you can't yeah. take your bus as an independent. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, right. yeah and we we okay. packed up Ella. We didn't have Clyde then. And she loved it, and we found a, a dog-friendly hotel in Aspen, which is extremely easy to do. Mm -hmm. And we just we spent two or three nights in Aspen. It was great. And the That's drive awesome. over that pass was beautiful. We even went the same way back just because it was so pretty. We've done that a couple of times, and I've told my kids, hey, we're going to here for the weekend. Our coach, we're leaving. Where's that? We're going on vacation. He goes, Mom, you live on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> You're going on vacation from your vacation? Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. We live on our coach, and our house is wherever it is. Leaving the coach's vacation. Yeah, so yeah they right. could not wrap their heads around that. <laughs> yeah, that would. Yeah, that's their their hard right. thing. Oh no, we definitely do that. We'll, we lot, will yeah. park it, especially here. We'll leave it here, or we'll go to the dealer and do some work on it. And, and, yeah. and they'll take the car, store, go do something, yeah. and we'll take their. No, usually we'll fly. fly we'll fly to California yeah, to visit family for you know oh, a couple smart. weeks. Yeah. We're going to Mexico in January for a wedding for six seven days and. 
February, I'm going to fly out of here and go to a snowmobile ski, trip with my, my nice. sons, you know. Be fun. And then in March, we're and going skiing. March, we're going back to Breckenridge. So it's not like you don't, so, you, you can yeah. leave your bus. Yeah, we're leaving I think yeah. when you think full-time RV, you're like, we always right. got to be with your bus. Right. Well, no, you can actually yeah, leave, leave it at some place. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Angie. <laughs> it's your house. There you go. I'm getting closer. I'm getting yes. closer. Get closer. Exactly. So funny. Yeah. Another great park that we really enjoyed and the experience, it was the whole experience was, um, and it was a dirt park, which I oh, did yeah. not like. It had burrs and everything. And, but the town was so amazing. Mm. It was Fredericksburg, Texas. Oh, really? really? Oh. Fredericksburg, Texas. So we, okay. so we used to, we still do a little bit, but we, um, there is a, a rallies, there are rallies out there that you can kind of follow and they oh, yeah. kind of really get you exposed to different communities and a lot of different RVers. And a lot of uh, things to do that they host. It was just super, super fun. Well, they had an event in Fredericksburg, Texas. I'll be so down. we went there with a bunch of people we met along our journey. Now, was this a Numar Rally group? This was AIM event, okay. All Inclusive Motor Coach. Okay. Nice. Sponsor, yep. Numar is, no, no, actually, National Indoor RV Center. Uh, the dealer okay. is one of the main sponsors yeah. of it. But of it's, AIM it's just a regular rally. private club. But we spent the whole month there, so we had a cowboy Christmas. I made cowboy boot stockings for all the, oh the kids God, that came you are in so cute. for the, yeah. the uh, holiday. And it that town, that shopping, it is just the most quaint. It's like you're in a storybook. Really? So Fred like Christmas time. Texas. Yes. yes. I mean, it's great year-round, but during any type of holiday, they go all out. It's a How about we were downtown Naples? We stepped out of the prime place. Yeah. The, Ocean yeah. Prime. Ocean, Ocean prime. prime, yeah. And they had that big tree, and they had fake snow. Oh, they had fake oh, snow oh, last right. night in Naples. Naples. It's yes. 80 degrees out. Yeah, oh, I did not. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. 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 See, see, see so many cool, cool oh, things. That sounds awesome. So, so okay, cool one more, one more question, then we we'll get to our second round of cocktails. We we didn't want to do the show. We <laughs> had, yeah. First round of talk, not, yeah, on not on the second round. That's another show. You got to pay for that one. <laughs> <laughs> but but the um the the location that you're going to go this summer that you're lo looking forward to that you haven't been to. And, and why did you? Oh, wow, this is this interesting. Summer? Yeah, we don't have a lot of our summer locked. So you're still in. trying. To have you been in Nashville? Yes, we yes. did. We, yes. we we went through there briefly, and you know we didn't see too much other than just the downtown area. Yeah, it was kind of just dirty. We can, and, we you can know. turn you on to some places yes. to go. So Nashville you know is a really <laughs> fun town. <laughs> okay, so we you need, just got to know the right. right. More I agree. Yeah. I agree. We don't. One thing for the RV people, what I wanted to say, if I don't blank out. Oh. One of the things that I was really worried about is, you know, we have five kids in California, mm -hmm. right? In their 20s. Oh, yeah. And I, was, and, and, and I was really worried and I'm still always fighting with, I'm not right near my kids. You know, I'm not, I'm not living with them or I don't see them all the time. But it's been an interesting exchange that instead of living in the same town where you might see them every other oh, weekend goodness. and just have dinner, you know, or, you know, or you or parents bug them too much to see them too much and they're <laughs> That's like kind of my what world. we feel like we're yes, always I, like come over come I over feel like I'm right. Right. pain in the ass and, my kids. and yeah. so now we're so far away that i plan super awesome trips for my boys i am glad you brought that and up. i'm like a, i'm probably the disney dad now because do they come and, and see you sometimes some, or do you go out and see them usually well, i fly them out here so yeah. i took you That's know, one on one two, you know, a couple one-on-one -on -one trips some all three but I had them out for Thanksgiving in Texas. I took one son to Key West and we went skydiving. Oops. Without telling me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I found out I on Instagram. And ah, nice. oh. he gets a phone call. You know, Excuse I'm me. taking them on an Oops. you know, California awesome. boys, right? Southern California warm weather. We're doing a four day snowmobile trip, which is novel for Oh us. yeah. California exactly. So, yeah. so yeah. we're doing these trips that we With might not do and I'll see for them sure. four to five times a year, but it's a full week. But it of means one Sunday. on one. But it's, but it's full. It's a good point. It's full uh immersion. Like when we brought the kids to Mountain Falls and did this this the snow hill. Yeah. The ski hill. That yeah. Was fun. And that was fun. We need to do that. So, again. Yeah. you know, it's interesting we have that not you done said that. Enough. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting to try to plan a trip that means something that you always remember versus come over for pizza tonight. Right. Right. And they're like going like this. Right. Oh, yeah. We don't want to exactly. hurt your feelings, but, yeah. but there's a party uh, I want to go home and watch my Yellowstone. Friend's, <laughs> my friend's house tonight. <laughs> yeah, and, the uh, party starts at 10. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go to bed at 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. um, I, that's a really good mm. yes. suggestion for people that are struggling. Right. Like we talked to some people today yes. and she was like, my grandkids are in Colorado. But I'm like, 
How much quality time are you really spending right. with them? It's quality, so, right. super quality time versus quantity of time. Like that's that. a really it's, good. It's yeah. really, really nice right. trade off. In and the great thing is, so now that we have more time, um, because he spends, we all spend more quality time, but we have more time to be just with our friends and really, you know, intermingling and meeting new people. And that's what we love. That's what we love. Yes. Too. Yeah. Like you guys. So so, yeah, exactly. so, yeah, so we're, cheers, we're cheers. half empty. Yeah, we need right. to refill, but... Refill, refill. Cut, yeah. cut, 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 cut. <laughs> <laughs>